This is Standing Watch. And now, Evangelist Norbert Link. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to our Standing Watch program. What I'd like to do today is to just read to you from a letter which I have just finished. I'd like to read some excerpts from this letter. I will be omitting any scriptural reference, and I will just read some view portions of it. Our enemy, Satan the devil, has been very busy. For nearly 6,000 years he has been deceiving mankind on a continuous basis. He tricked the first woman into believing that one can disobey God and get away with it. Satan lied to her, being the father of lies, in whom is no truth. And in following him, Adam and Eve died. Satan caused their death, being a murderer from the beginning, and he has had the power of death over sinning mankind ever since. This world is cut off from God. Satan rules this world from his throne here on earth. He has deceived the whole world, which is under his sway. His demons are ruling with and under him, evil spirits of darkness in high places. Satan persuaded mankind to follow his evil devices by establishing administrative, governmental, legal, economic, and religious systems which are all in opposition to the true God. In this present evil age, not one human government is righteous, and no country is subject to God. Rather, all follow the God of this world, Satan the devil, the prince of the power of the air. Satan knows about God's plan, but he thinks that he can thwart it. As he tried to knock God off his throne before the creation of man, so he tries again, just prior to the return of Jesus Christ. He is being thrown down from heaven once more, as he was defeated during his first rebellion. And he is extremely angry, because he knows that his time is short. Out of this evil world, this Babylon of confusion, God has called specially selected chosen people to resist Satan. God expects and requires of them that they love and obey him more than human beings and governmental officials who may, under, who may act under Satan's inspiration. But God also knows that in these end times, many of his people will fall away from him and from his truth and believe again the lie, all under the influence of Satan, who disguises himself as an angel of light. Already in Paul's time, some had turned aside after Satan. Paul was afraid that others might have too. In our time, many will do so. Satan hates God, and he hates God's people. He wants to destroy them. Quite often he is using human governments in his efforts. God's people must be aware of this, but sadly some are not. They are willing to follow governmental commands, restrictions, and mandates which violate God's law in letter or in spirit. They do so thinking they can get away with it. Satan is still on his throne. And as the most vicious, evil, devious, and mean being in existence, he will try everything he can to destroy you. He knows that it is your potential to replace him. He hates you for that. And he may even think that if he can successfully tempt and destroy all of God's people, then his rule might continue a bit longer. Satan asked the Father to sift God's people as wheat. He asked for permission to tempt and plague Job. He was even allowed to tempt Jesus in the wilderness. He entered Judas Iscariot to betray Jesus. He accuses the brethren before God day and night. He tries to take away the word of God when it is sown in the heart of people. Satan is a destroyer. And if Christ was not to return to shorten the coming days of the horrible great tribulation, Satan would have succeeded to see to it that no flesh would be saved alive. But Satan will not succeed. 
God allows Satan to tempt us and cause problems for us to see whether we will obey God more than men, no matter what. Some are willing to give up right away when trials come upon them. But Christ overcame and prevailed against Satan, commanding him, Away with you, Satan! And Satan had to obey. God wants to free us from the power of Satan to turn us to God. God has the greatest confidence in you that you will prevail. God wants to crush Satan under your feet shortly. Don't disappoint him. Don't compromise. Don't give in. Don't give up. Don't fall away. Through governmental restrictions under his influence, Satan is using the same tactic as he did when deceiving Eve in the Garden of Eden. Has God indeed said? Eve fell for it, and Adam followed his wife, convincing themselves that a little disobedience didn't really matter. Far too many of God's people are following today Adam and Eve, and their bad example. Don't you be one of them. We have prepared a free booklet, Angels, Demons, and the Spirit World, which goes into the subject at hand in much more detail. And you can also receive a free copy of our letter, the complete letter with all the scriptural references and many more statements. And you can also look at it because it's all posted on our website. So thank you very much for listening. This is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch program. Standing Watch is a presentation by The Church of the Eternal God, P.O. Box 270519, San Diego, California, 92198. More information is also available at our website, eternalgod.org.